sí. No. This is the first time I'm recording myself. It's official. I'm officially out. Packed with a backpack with all the basic essentials. Sweater, a sleeping bag, all the camera stuff, water bottles, pepper spray, toothpaste, deodorant, bar of soap. Right now I'm heading on over to meet Landy. Landy is this, uh, this homeless guy that I met and uh, I've really been looking up to him. He's got a lot of really pure morals and values that I really appreciate. So I'm gonna go see if I could find him, and maybe spend a night with him, see what else he has to teach me and what he wants to share, and uh, we'll go from there. The eyes are the window of your soul. That's the truth. And if people cannot understand that, it's because they don't want to. They have no faith and no hope in Christ. They turn around and say, well, if I don't see God, then I don't believe in God. Well, why have faith? If you're afraid to dig and get rid of your sin, or sins, you got a problem. It's like lice or something like that. You're hiding something. Uh, you can't hide anything like that. You can't run from Christ. You can't hide. You know the old saying says, you could run, but you can't hide. <laughs> How did you have a near-death experience? With that, what, what, what? With, with, with spinal meningitis. The doctors told mom and dad, and, hey, say your last prayers, because he's gonna die. He's gonna die, we can't save him. We don't know. We don't know anything. So when I died, God took me home. And he asked me if I want to be with him, and I said, yes, please, because I'm out of pain. I was only two and a half years old. The next following day, it was a miracle. I was in the, I was in the newspaper as a miracle child. <laughs> the doctors told oh, mom and dad, <laughs> you can take your son home now. He's cured. So what's that all about? It's a miracle. Can't explain. It. And that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be 63 in August. My dad's going to be 87 tomorrow. My mom, who's helping me, is going to be 90. Are you guys doing something for his birthday? Um, I'm going to probably just be real basic, a cake. And she's from Holy School, too. That's the weird thing. You ready? Not yet. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> Guys coming back or what? Fuck yeah. Uh, what I'm gonna go get my I'm gonna go get my fucking pillows. I need my volcano and shit like that. You know? You have a fucking volcano. No no in a nice way. My volcano, my pillows. I've never shit. seen you in a nice way. Ah. Yeah. Well Hey Manny, have you seen her in a nice way? A couple of times you said a couple. Hang out with me and you'll be the coolest of the coolest. <laughs> oh yeah, here. Winner. You need to camouflage. Oh, well then we have another camouflage. Do that. No, mom, it's Come on. Come here. Let me help you. Come here. What are you going to do? Look. Let that go. And let me help you. What are you going to do? All the time. I'm not a douche. I'm not a douche. I didn't say a douche. Sir, can you help? Can you help a homeless vet, bud? I literally only have card, bud. Ah, okay. Can, well, we're gonna have that card, and we're gonna spend the money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna talk to my wife first. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. I, I know you got to go to her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, buddy, thank you, homeboy. Yeah. Hey, young man. Thank you very much. Hey, buddy. Yeah. I respect you, but you know what? There's one thing I don't like about this, and I gotta be honest with you. You see, we're wearing, wearing a Dodger shirt. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not wearing. A You're not a Dodger. <laughs> Hey, big man, can you help a homeless vet? Uh, I'll check right now, bud. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, boss, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> oh, dude, I want your pepperoni. Hey, what are you gonna do? Hold up, man. It's a good night. You share all the She passed away. Yeah, fucking amen. Hey, so boss, can you help with the can you help with homeless bed homes? What's up, I don't you? have any cash, my friend. Hmm. You know what? You want a pizza? Yeah, that would be cool. But you want a pizza? Yeah, that would be cool. You want a pizza? Yeah, that would be cool. 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 Yeah, that all of the all the carts. Yeah, she fucking died. She died right there. Cheryl died. Cheryl, you know Cheryl. She was seeing that yes. boy. Beanie. No, not Beanie. The other one wasn't. I don't know. Girl. I don't. Know. I don't know at that time, but I know that it was Beanie. That was her lifetime How partner. How did she die? Put this in your sleeve until you need it. She died. I know, but how did she die? I don't know. She That's had, not she, my business. They don't know. One day, Beanie found her in the street with her arm all cut up, and they took her to the hospital, and she didn't. Do you fucking remember how hard she used to get her ass kicked by Beanie? Good day, man. It's just, you know, when you start from scratch and shit like that. Sweetheart, you are a sweetheart. Don't you know be lying about yourself. But do you want him to suck your dick? <laughs> Shush, Janet. What are you going to go to suck nice. your dick always? Uh, I'm, I'm just playing. Take a break. Okay, I'm just playing. Okay, okay, play. 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 this, this guy's God. trying to get a documentary. He doesn't okay, always okay. want to be on the gray side or okay. the dark side. Thank you, Andy. I really appreciate all of you. everything that you've done for me. It really means the world to me. No problem. No problem. Hey, if you get cold, you can pick up the blanket, okay? All right, then. See, the meth heads. The meth heads got all the 
we stay up all night long. You and I must sleep. But well, they're up. That's why I pray to God all the time. first night. Woke up a lot, whether from bugs or from the traffic. But I'm here. <laughs> Just the first night and it's already hard. But you get used to it, right? He don't know. He don't understand. Nobody understands. Only people that love family understand. Family is number one. And my girl's family. Exactly as she is. You know, so that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here for him. Exactly as he is. I just met you. I'm here for you. I met her. She's beautiful. I'm here for her too if I can. You know? But you're bitching now. Nobody's, I was bitching nobody's bitching. Fucking you're the one bitching. Fucker. That's what Army does. All they do is talk. <laughs> yeah. And all you do is fucking... You guys are late for everything except for lining up to die first. And then we come in and take over. Shit, what are you doing? But, but we're both written off with collateral damage in the beginning. Yeah, I can tell. Who that? Yeah, but I'm not dead, am I? You don't see me laying down. Does it matter? Fuck yeah, it matters. It always matters when you're breathing. Are you doing the best Who you can? Who says you're breathing? Who says you're fucking breathing, boy? Drink some more of that easy Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but let it yeah, work. Yeah, you would love to have some of that, huh? Fuck no. You think I want to go to court with easy Jesus on my breath? I'm not stupid. Really? You were stupid to fucking join the Marines. No, I wasn't. You know, the whole time I was there, there was all kinds of fights, all kinds of riots, racial riots. You know what people remember? <laughs> all of them? You're the fucker that was in there breaking us up. You're the one that was saying we're brothers. And I, I used my strength to keep them apart, to break them up. You know what happened after every time it happened? I had twice as many what friends on I'm... both sides. <laughs> That's the kind of Marine I was. So fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. He just, he talks a lot and so do I, so. But I'm here and I'm happy and every day is a gift, man. My family, we struggle with my dad. Me and my mom never get a break from each other. You but owe me. Today she went and got her hair. I owe him. You owe me. I gave you six bucks the other day and you gave me like a dollar fifty worth of weed and said, oh, You owe me. I owe you nothing. Turn around, stand up. Do you I'll know give you what me? I owe you. What a blood in that back of your head no. right now, motherfucker. A size nine pata in the ass.
unchecked rusty hoses Fire and sweat, smoke, blood, wet roses Vomit, chocolate and <laughs> That's us. That's our real life. You really want to document that's us. No bullshit. You know, people take their houses or homes for granted, but they don't understand what they have. Just a bathroom, a shower, a sink to wash up. It's a blessing. But you'll give us a couple of dollars. It makes you feel better. Thank, thank you for the two dollars. Thank you for the ten, for the five, for the twenty. God bless you. Don't judge us. That ain't right. You can't win on the streets. It's gonna beat you. It's gonna beat your ass. And that's the truth. I guarantee you, you would love to be at home. Your mom and, and your sisters and that. These are the things that I can't sleep. Gotta wait till the fuck leaves now. Hey, it's good to have a bit of Wanna live with the sin of anger. <laughs> I could be happy the rest of my life with the sin of anger. It's an oldie? Yeah, Neil Young. Who's that enough on those damn fireworks? Oh, we got some money. I'm just saying, Jesus. We always lose all those damn games. All the times, Jesus. All the times. I'm just saying.
worship so more. Jehovah Rafi Gara. Jehovah Jireh. It's good to not like but don't hate. You know, I, I, I respect everybody that God wants me to respect my enemies and my friends, my family. But just sometimes you just have to love them from a distance. You don't want to hang, up, hang out with them. But in the same token, don't judge them because you'll be judged and that's why there's anger, frustration. It hurts. But who are you? Maybe you hurt that person, and maybe that's why that person does what he does, because he's been hurt, and he doesn't know how to handle it. When I shake like this, the Lord is, is, is speaking to me. I want you to know that he loves each and every one of us. No matter what we do in life. You know, I went into this whole documentary really naive. I really didn't know what I was getting myself into. I only lasted five days <laughs> before I felt I had to come over here now. I've been really, really blessed to be able to meet Landy and all the people that he introduced me to. But yeah, it's not even the fact that you're living out on the streets. That's the hard part. It's the people that you meet because I went into this with an open heart because deep down I wanted to really taste what it felt like to be in pain on the streets, you know? Because there's a lot of us that are suffering out there and these are the people that we hardly ever take time to think about. And the crazy, crazy thing is too is that everyone that you've seen so far, everyone that I've met, they only account for like... 20-25% of the people that I've even came across and met on my own time. So much shit that I saw. <laughs> people using the bathroom right in front of me. People shooting up. Smoking meth. People that have lost all hope in life. A lot of people who lost a lot of hope in life. We're all living in different realities. We all become homeless for another reason. We all deal with it and handle it differently. Some of us have faith and we pull through and we're there for each other and we build a community like no other and some others just fall through and, you know, curse out the world and, and are living in hell. Landy once told me, he said, um, he said, Mijito, it's really easy to lose yourself in the streets. It's really easy for anybody to go crazy and I didn't really mean, understand what he meant by that and now I, I feel like I kind of do. It got to the point where on the last day, yesterday, where I, you know, shit went down and God gave me what I wanted. I got what I wanted for. If we want to make change in the world, then we have to be able to see through hell with our eyes open. We can't turn away from anything. Life is all about, that's what I could say. And being honest and people want to hear and not hear. I'm not here. I'm not a god or nothing. You know what life is to me. To adore every breath that you take. 
every pain that you can handle. On the authority of God, under His mercy, under His grace. And when you could do that, you're a blessed person. <laughs> As soon as I spit up, we're wasted The times we spent played back and soaking up Another's quarrying, it's warm The little fits and starts and